Hello, this is Sharon with Flat World Knowledge, and I'd like to welcome you all today to a brief podcast recording with Terrence Lau and Lisa Johnson, two co-authors on a new book from Flat World Knowledge, The Legal and Ethical Environment of Business. Hi, Terrence, and hi, Lisa. Hi, Sharon. Well, we want to um, not leave our listeners waiting too much longer, and we'll jump right in with a couple questions for the both of you today about your new textbook. So I'm going to start with you, Lisa, and I'd like um, for you to tell our listeners why you and Terrence decided to write a book for uh, the legal environment of business. Thanks, Sharon. Well, Terrence and I both teach uh, legal environment classes, and we have a a very solid understanding of what students find engaging in class versus what they might find to be boring or not interesting. And we both believe in interactive teaching where students can actively participate in their learning. Uh, And we were, I think, both frustrated or searching for options to be able to convey our subject matter in a in a way that wasn't uh, overwhelming to students uh, with too many details or um, points that were not relevant to undergraduate study. And so we decided to take on this project to provide something lively and engaging for students at the undergraduate level, and uh, that's why we did it. No, that's great. And and uh, I'm sure that all of the undergraduate business students will welcome it. Um, and tell me, Terrence, if you wouldn't mind, what makes, what, I, guess I should say, what about this book makes you particularly proud? Well, I, I think that I'm, I'm, I'm especially proud of writing a book with Lisa that um, either of us would be comfortable reading from a reader's perspective. And I think that um, that would go for our students as well. Uh, they, they, when we wrote the book, we were very intentional to follow a particular formula for what we wanted the outcome to look like. For example, uh, we knew we wanted the book to be contemporary. Uh, law is such an exciting and um, um, uh, moving field that uh, you can't open the, uh, uh, the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times every day without seeing an example of law being applied in the world of business. So um, uh, being able to use Flat World's platform to keep our content contemporary was very important to us. And so our book is full of examples of, um, of how the principles that we teach apply to uh, actual contemporary uh, principles. Another formula that we uh, stuck closely to was uh, to use um, multimedia, such as um, YouTube or National Public Radio or other video sources to embed them in our text so that students who are very used to multimedia and are used to um, uh, sort of interacting with the computer uh, can digest the material in smaller chunks uh, and in multiple doses rather than in one big sitting try and understand the material all at once. And from our experience, that uh, from a pedagogical perspective, that's very helpful. Uh, and I think the last thing that we tried to do was to try and um, demonstrate that in this field of legal environment of business, um, you don't have to apologize for the fact that law is tied in closely with public policy and ethics, uh, and that um, although it is a business law text, um, it is still appropriate to discuss uh, ethical issues in, uh, in, 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 in so far as they relate to business law, uh, and to discuss the public policy reasons why we have certain laws and why legislatures act and judges act the way that they do. And I think that will um, generate and hopefully spark some very lively in-class discussions which um, current textbooks don't really, uh, for whatever reason, address or try to shy away from. It sounds great. It actually sounds like you're giving the professors and instructors the tools and resources to have an interactive classroom and they have the kind of material to to create and spark discussion as you said and what I also liked about something that the three of us discussed prior to our podcast recording here is that just about anybody can pick up this book so even for um, the professors out there who aren't full time they can jump in they can pick up this book and they can't they won't necessarily be um, weighed down by how they're going to deal with all of it, they, they can, they, they actually will have a clear, concise um, way and, and they can feel like, you know, a trustable resource to walk in and, and teach this course when they may not have taught it in a while or, or ever before. So I also thought that was, that was a great thing about, about what you, you both had tried to do with this book. And, and um, I'll say to that end, we, 
we were thrilled, needless to say, here at Flat World Knowledge, that the two of you decided to sign on with us and, and write your textbook and publish it with Flat World Knowledge. Would the two of you mind kind of giving each kind of your individual perspectives on why you decided to pick Flat World? You could have picked another publisher. And um, I think it would be interesting to our listeners to hear why you decided to go with us. Sure, I'll start with that. Uh, we have, I know we have a lot of reasons. We both um, think Flat World Knowledge has a great model. Uh, it emphasizes both uh, very high quality uh, as well as accessibility for students. Um, you know, we've both just been through a pretty rigorous peer review process for our book, um, and it, you know, that helps ensure a very high quality product uh, at the, you know, sort of end of the day. Um, we also like the fact that we can uh, continually update the book whenever we want to do that, whenever we need to do that. Um, as Terrence mentioned a few minutes ago, there are sort of new examples that pop up all the time, um, and we like the idea that we can incorporate those examples into our book immediately without having to wait for, you know, sort of two years for the next edition to come out or, or whatever. And we also like the fact that the book is written in uh, modules or sections, which allows um, professors to sort of pick and choose which sections that they would like to teach. And uh, any of those sections can be uh, sort of taken out of the book without, um, you know, without uh, reducing what's left. Uh, you know, the book never looks like it has a hole in it if uh, a section is removed. So that allows for uh, professors to customize uh, as they wish. Uh, all, all those reasons are, are great reasons, uh, and uh, I, I thoroughly agree with everything that Lisa just said. I also, um, uh, from a personal perspective, uh, really, really uh, am a firm believer in Flat World Knowledge's business model. Uh, when I first heard of Flat World Knowledge, I was intrigued at how um, uh, the company is going through this early stage of uh, startup financing, uh, sort of to disrupt uh, and to really disturb the te textbook publishing space, which is uh, very stoic and, and, and very old-fashioned. Uh, and um, I've been searching for a long time for a company like uh, Flat World to do this to the textbook publishing space because um, the existing players, I think, have gotten very comfortable and, um, um, and, 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 and frankly, are just charging too much for, for the product, which my, my students, I think, uh, complain about, and rightly so. Uh, and so... And, and it's not just the price model that is so intriguing here. It's also the method of, of delivery um, with an e-textbook that's available online anywhere uh, with a backup PDF or printed copy available for those who want to read it offline. Um, you know, we, uh, we often describe our students as being digital natives. You know, they grew up with computers. They're more familiar with the click of a mouse than with the stroke of a pen. And so being able to teach uh, law, which is, after all, a centuries-old discipline, in this new method, um, it, it's a nice marriage of old and new, and one that our students will, will love and, and take very well to. And I suspect that any faculty member who adopts the book uh, will find that, that their students will really appreciate not just the content, but the way the content is delivered to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, Terrence and Lisa, I don't know that I could have said it better myself. That's, <laughs> that's, what, we were, that's what we're hoping to do for, for instructors. That's what we're hoping to do for students, and those are the goals that we are trying to reach for authors as well so it's exciting to have you aboard and and i want to thank you for the time that you've spent with me today and with our listeners today to talk about your textbook um, thank you for your dedication to your discipline and i want to thank our listeners out there for spending a little bit of time with us here at flat world knowledge so everybody enjoy your week and we hope that you'll request a desk copy of terrence lau and lisa johnson's the legal and ethical environment of business thank you Bye thank now. you